Hey guys, this is V, Diamond in the Rough, and for all you new subscribers out there, welcome. Thank you for joining me. To all of my subscribers that I've had for a while, thank you for coming back. <laughs> um, I'm doing a drill with me, or a whip and chat. They really come, well, there's a couple of different ways to call it. Uh, working on Diamond's Kimono. The limited edition kit. Um, right at the beginning of this, I will say there is a link below for Destiny's Promise, which is the orphanage which you can do some bit of charitable giving um, for uh, that that organisation. So that's a an orphanage in the Philippines, which is where Di Moon is based. That's where they're from. So with, if you can't donate, fully understandable to, to Destiny's Promise, if you can't donate, fully understand. So how about instead you go to the Diamond Shop and have a look at their, well, obviously the new artist, the new artist collaboration they have. Uh, go there and check out. Kathy Delance and all the other artist collaborations and um, if you purchase your 10% of the sale will go towards Destiny's Promise. Okay so which which <laughs> hey that's a win-win situation for everybody isn't it? You get an amazing diamond painting from a great um, I, I will say team but it's also a family, um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what I thought I'd do for you, <laughs> you guys that already know me, you know a lot of my story. I, you, know, <laughs> you find out some interesting stuff about me. But for those that are only new to my channel, because I have just received a heap of subscribers, um, I started gaining subscribers when the last dp thon was and although I didn't actually diamond paint I had the opportunity because I, I, I'm a shift worker which I'll go into that I had the opportunity to work in the backgrounds and I kept the playlist up to date which helped us keep our times keep track of one our time slots but also to make sure we were in the correct time slot because we're international everybody goes by everybody is on their own time zone um so yeah um uh, so yeah i'll give you a bit of get to know me but what i will do is mention diamond shop and how i found them I actually can't remember how I found them and I do remember when I did find them their prices were high mine they still are high but bear with me because I'm going to talk about that um, and having to pay for freight so I balked at doing it um, you know I Personally, it's what everybody says to me when they see that I'm working on diamond shops. You know, can't justify it. They can't justify um, what they're spending. Well, I, you know, because because you've got to pay freight as well. But then, I actually looked at. I was I was buying a diamond paintings that were. Well, I wasn't buying them from AliExpress, although I did do Ever Moment for customs. I used other websites uh, to purchase. So, you know, I wasn't paying, I wasn't purchasing from AliExpress. Um, just what I couldn't, one, I struggled with the website, which is really strange. But I just struggled with finding something I liked. Uh, so yeah, I was trying all sorts of companies 
um, the long and the short of it. I ended up, excuse me for a sec, I, um, I did end up purchasing from a company where I had to pay freight because um, I'm in Australia. Um, and then after that, I watched Heike. So Stone Cold Coffee Craft, so she is um, one of the ambassadors for Die Moon. She, um, she turned around and she was talking about the price and when she first started purchasing. Um, but as she pointed out as well, for where she lives, you know, she has to pay freight for, for a lot of things as well. Um, and, you know, so she gave them a go and then her belief was, well, you know, they're worth it. So, Heike, thank you. You were the reason I <laughs> went and bought Elsa <laughs> and Girl by Carousel. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you very much. And that started um, my journey with Diamond Shop. So I get there and look at, like I do, for, if you've had a look around my channel, I do big pieces. I might do an odd little one. Um, I actually have a small Christmas one um, that I'm working on, but that's for, that is a project um, for Christmas. But most of the times my diamond paintings are pretty big. So I weighed up the fact that if I changed how I looked at purchasing diamond paintings. So this, this channel started out because who did I watch? My, no, uh, Megan addicted to, a uh, preschool teacher addicted to diamond painting. I watched her channel. I watched um, and got, you know, I was this, oh, well, I still am. I subscribed to her channel and I watched what she did. And then it was like, I can do that. I can share, I can do that. Um, and so I did. I have made <laughs> much to my partner's horror. He, he can't, he doesn't get YouTube, okay? Um, because, because not only, well, one, I'm doing a hobby, but he sees me <laughs> on the computer quite a lot um, because uh, well, I'm a bit of a nerdy person and I love playing with computer programs and that. So, which is why my openings are not always the same because I'm working through and going, oh, I'll give this a go, I'll give this a go. Um, and I like to see what I can do and how I can adapt things. So, yeah. Um, but getting off track, bright, shiny things um, kind of get me off track. Back to purchasing from Dime Moon Shop and justifying. So I was watching quite a few YouTubers that were doing so many unboxings, so many unboxings. And what are the things, and I'm not, in no way, please, I'm no way being critical of anybody. But I was watching unboxings and thinking, when are you going to get time? So you do see YouTubers piling up with, with diamond paintings and going, when are you going to get time to do all of those? And at that time, my partner was saying to me, why don't you work on just one at a time? You don't just keep ordering, um, you know, because you're not going to work on them all. Um, and I turned around and said, well, for the time it takes for it to be delivered, you know, I've got to order it because I don't want to run out of diamond paintings because, you know, we, as a diamond painter, we fit, one of the biggest fear is no diamond paintings to work on, right? So um, I thought about it for a bit. I went, I don't need a big stash. I love my big diamond paintings. So we'll get to and I'll, I'll go with big ones. And I'd already semi-started, but yeah. 
<laughs> customs. Mm. Anyway, so what I did do, I, I looked at it and went, well, I discovered at that time, I discovered Heike, um Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And let's put it this way. She, you know, with her saying about, about freight, and then I looked at it and went, well, Diamond Freight is so fast that I don't have to worry that I'm going to be without a diamond painting for very long. <laughs> um, yes, Diamond, if you buy some of their canvases are uh, made to order. So, you know, you place an order. So for this one, for example, they have, this is actually their smallest size of kimono. I've gone and looked at their channel. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so this is the smaller size of this one. But you can go in and change to a larger size. So you, uh, you know, so you've got your choice of rounds and squares and yeah. Uh, <coughs> off track yet again. Something bright and shiny. <laughs> um, completely lost my train of thought. Okay, so to me, you know, the, the thought of not having diamond paintings, that's where I was going with it, is the, order, the diamond paintings that you order from Diamond Shop, they do have some in stock and they have some that um, you have to basically pre-order, which takes a little bit of time. But you are getting, when you do a pre-order, you are getting a fresh diamond painting. You're not getting a diamond painting that's been sitting for however long on the shelf. So just so so you, that you are aware, you know, one of the benefits of Diamond Shop is they are made to order. They are not stored. So, yeah, which is why it takes a while to get them to us. But... As soon as, so if you order something that's quick, so if you want something quick from Diamond Shop and you just want to try out their quality, give their mystery boxes a try. I've purchased three mystery boxes so far and every one of them I have enjoyed receiving. I haven't completed them all. I will say that. <laughs> I've completed two of them. Um, well, my first two mystery boxes I have completed. I've still got my third mystery box. I have unboxed, but I haven't started. I was going to start that, and then this uh, lovely canvas came about. Um, but yeah, if you go with the mystery boxes, you will get them really quickly. Um, and you know, mystery boxes, it's always a surprise on what you're going to get, so you get a bit of excitement there. So if you want, you know, I could justify the fact if I buy a diamond shop and I really want a canvas, they do have their ones that are in stock. So you can order and get quickly. I mean, their freight times are absolutely brilliant. Um, and yes, you have to pay for freight. But you, I will say, if you have to pay for freight, right? The question is, would you like to receive something in pristine condition and quickly? So this is where I got another justification for paying for freight. It's a brilliant product and it is received quickly. And the freight companies, you know, they're not like China Mail. You know, it is looked after. So you don't get it damaged. You don't have to file any disputes or anything like that. And um, <laughs> it's delivered on time. So that's, um, you yeah, know, that's where my justification of pay, you know, paying for freight. If you want to pay for, if you want a top quality service, you tend to pay top dollar. And you're prepared, if most people are prepared for pay for good service and I will say, until you've purchased from Diamond Shop, you actually don't get it. You don't understand it. Okay, I can. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I will say until I made my first purchase. Like I made my first purchase was a big purchase, 
but until you actually go through the journey of getting it um, that's another story altogether you, you know when you get notified when the diamond painting's been kept been boxed up and ready for shipment you get notified by Rowena and Reggie that it's on its way and you get a link to their YouTube channel so they're which where, which is where they do their reverse unboxings hang on just looking for my next symbol oh, I do like this instead I can have my canvas down here and I can actually lift this up and actually although my camera's not going to zoom in I can check my legend nice and easy which means I can have my legend at any spot 17 um, so yeah it's you, you know you are paying for the experience as well it's a you know, it's amazing experience to go through you know you get this email it gives you the link to YouTube video of them doing reverse unboxings which is pretty cool well the first time I saw it I went why and then I realized that you know everybody sees us um, unbox so what you're seeing is how they got to that point to where they needed to be unboxed which is really cool I didn't need many of those that's a bit special um, next one 3750 Hang on a sec, guys. I'm just going to. Where is it? One of the things, like I've, I have some of the special drills, the electric drills from Diamond, and yep. Um, just want to grab a tray for these. I need a pointy tray. <laughs> um, yeah, from I got these from another diamond painting. Actually, no, it was from their moon boxes. I love their moon boxes. But I'm adding to the sparkle with uh, some of their special drills. But they are going to be on the D's just for a little bit of a highlight on the edge, just to personalise it that just a little bit more. Um, there, 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 I suppose one there, you can't see that can you, okay let's see what I can do about showing that to you, so you can see what I've just done Obviously my canvas is, um, sorry guys, in the background I'm zooming in so you only just, you, okay. So what we've got is I've just put a couple of the specials in here um, of these ones. So we'll get the focus on that, whoops, shadow. Come on camera, do what you're supposed to do. Let's see, is it going to... There we go. So those are... I can't actually even remember the, what they were called. But I got these from one of the moon boxes. Anyway, so that was just me. I've just added a little bit more um, bling to it and personalised it. Um, but yeah, so Diamond Shop is a very personalised process. Um, the reverse unboxings, and yeah, you do. You get brought into Reggie and Rowana. They 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 share their family with you. I don't know if that's the best way to put it though. Um, but they, you know, you see, it's a family business. Um, 
So, yeah, and you get them quick and all of that. So that's just in the way of service. So when you get such an amazing service, until you actually go through and actually find out what that service is like and what it's like to receive a video where you see what you're getting packaged up, where if you want a special treatment, they will actually do a special treatment up for you with the special drills, the electric drills or the special stones that they use and they put it on video so that you can view it and check it out before they send it and before you pay for it. Um, they give you a couple of versions, so version 1, 2 and 3 in most cases where they add different um, special drills to it. So you can see what you're purchasing before you even agree to purchase. They they you know do that to make it that it's yeah. I don't know if I can explain that any better. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Some things go walking off my desk. Nathan's the culprit. Oh, okay. 3809. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, you get to see what, what you're purchasing before you purchase when you are having a special treatment done. So that's, you know, yet again, a service that you don't get anywhere else. Um, you know, and it's worth paying for. And then the other side of it, which is so important um, and to a lot of people I mean to me uh, it, it is a huge importance to me because I if you haven't seen I do a lot of customs I would rather do my own photography turn my own photography into diamond paintings um, you know I don't I don't fully agree with the the China mail process where um, a G. Hang on, looking for more symbols. Um, you know, where, where artists don't get recognised. So whereby, you know, I do a lot of cu customs. I've got one custom there. It was uh, the Esperant Tanker Jetty. I was actually requested to do that. That one's not my own photography, and I would love to have that on my wall. And I'm quite sure that the gentleman that took the photograph would. Um, have no objection to me do it, get doing it but it's not my artwork so to me I need to ask him permission and I've got a lot, quite a lot of other images that I want to work on first. Um, so in that sense I don't buy, I don't tend to buy much in this way of standard diamond paintings because I'd prefer to go with an artist collaboration. Uh, next symbol. I'm about to get to one where I know I don't need to think about it at all as to finding it. G. So with Die Moon, they have their artist collaborations. So the other reason why you're paying a good price or a well, good price, a high price, is the artist's work is getting recognised. The artist, um, you know, the artist gets gets their commission from the work. Which, when you think about it, all the artists that get ripped off with China Mail, you know, AliExpress and the other companies, and we've all seen it. We've all seen where they've got images that on there where you request them to take it down because you know it's. It's a, because it's a copyrighted image. Um, I know for myself, I do reverse searches when I look for it, when I'm looking at those sites to make sure that I'm not purchasing a copyrighted image. But that's other companies, that's not this one. So I'm talking about Diamond Shop. So I, lowercase a next. So yeah, we are getting, you know, artists' work 
we're getting a wonderful service, a service that you can't beat. I have not seen this kind of service anywhere else. Hang on my eyes. It's so funny, I find, I don't even have a light pad on. I can read this legend, but I'm just having a bit of a struggle with my own eyesight. Where are you? There you are, 939. So, yeah, yes, they are expensive, but I tell you what, once you give them a go, you will understand all that excitement of getting one. You get the excitement of the kitting up, um, seeing what you're getting, being included in the process, um, and, you know, and it's a really personal experience. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Dye Moon Shop and why I, I mean, I've been, I don't know how long, how long guys, when did I first start diamond painting Dye Moon Shop? Um, hang on, I'll go back to, don't want to play it, I just want to see where my first unboxing, June. So I haven't actually been going that long, but with June, you've, June this year, June 2019. But yeah, you know, I can, my big justification cost wise is all of those reasons. But then it's also the fact that I don't have a stash. I know I don't have to have a stash of lots of little diamond paintings to get done. Oh, I like to work on the big ones, obviously. Um, you know, and I know that when I, the only time that I'm not going to, that I'll miss out on anything with Diamond Shop is their limited edition kits. So like <laughs> Kimono's limited edition kit is sold out already. So, you know, that's the only time, only things that you miss out with Diamond is limited edition kits with a lot of the stuff that I've purchased from Diamond. And, you know, like I'm on their Facebook, you know, I get notified when. Yep, there's a drill I missed. I get notified. We see we see images. They put they put up new stuff on there. When when they introduce new stuff, they put it up on Facebook. Um, and that's where I tend to see the ones that I want. It's like I'll see it on Facebook, and I'm instantly on Messenger to. Uh, Rowanna and Reggie saying can I have that one <laughs> and they'll put it aside for you <laughs> if you're quick enough <laughs> um, yeah there was one that was there and I went I've got to have the bead board so the bead boards um, although I'm not using now because I'm going to do a big big coverage area the bead boards um, I saw my set of bead boards that I own that I purchased I saw it on Facebook and went, can I, ha I want that one. <laughs> I'll pay it when I get paid next. When my next pay, I'll purchase it. I'll put the order in. So they put it aside for you. Um, you know, so, so, you know, they, they do that, that service. You don't get that service anywhere else. Um, but yeah, most of the artwork that I've seen, um, well, not most, but a lot of the art, a lot of the stuff that I've seen on, they put on Facebook and you go, yep, I want that one. So, you know, you, you, they, yeah, I don't know how to put it, but you know, you say you want something, and, and there is no hesitation at all about the process. Uh, and they bend over backwards to assist. I have ordered three customs from them um, of images that have already people have seen already. I have had them made as customs already, and. Uh, they went out to my subscribers, uh, my 500 subscriber giveaway. I gave out three custom diamond paintings. I gave a choice of the images and I had them done. Um, but it wasn't through Diamond Shop. So this one, I'm actually, I've brought a couple of customs with Diamond Shop. And I'll see how they go. But the process was 
really good, really good, because it was I was contacted via Messenger, so all my images came through via messages, Messenger. You know, it was really quick, and even like Reggie emailed me, messaged me with the image, and I was, I looked at it and went, oh, okay, not happy with this one. I need this adjusted, and all within, I don't know how long, probably less than an hour. We'd, I'd, I'd had it, the images to how I want them. Excuse me a second. I uh, need to have a little bit of a sip of coffee. And when I sip my coffee, I hit the mute button. <laughs> okay, so that is, I mean, what can I say? The service is worth it. You pay for really good service and you get it. All right, so here we go. I, I, you will notice a couple of things that I say a lot. Hang on, I'm going to. There is three words in my vocabulary. One is not really a word. There is three things in my vocabulary that I say a lot of and frustrates me because I can't stop it. I've still got a couple more colours in there. The one is so, <laughs> and it's just the start of a new sentence where I'm just going, so. The other is okay. And then the other is the one that annoys me the most, and I'm so sorry. I watch my videos back. Yes, I watch them back, and I get ums. I never used to um much until I got into the job I'm in now. <laughs> which is really weird because of what I do. So that's that's that side of, so that's my side towards Dye Moon Shop. Heike was the culprit of getting me introduced to them and she turned around and, you know, she basically said, you get the quality, you get the service, you get the fast rate, you pay for what you get, you, you know, you do, it, it's worth it. So there we go. And there is that so word. Now, I'm just going to move that a bit. There we go. A bit about me. Um, actually, what you might notice is I work top to bottom. I always work from the top of my canvas and work down. The question is why is because when you work on big canvases, I don't like the idea of having... The drills, um, here you go, I'm talking with my hands here. I don't like having the drills with the opportunity where I might knock them off. So with me, I work top to bottom so that then I'm pushing the drills away from me and then not, I'm not going to um, bump them. And especially when you get, this one has uh, special drills on it. All right, so there we go. That's that side of uh, that uh, and why I do that. Um, why did I start my YouTube channel? Well, I've already covered that. Megan, preschooler addicted to diamond painting, is um, why I started my YouTube channel, because I liked what she did and liked her ideas. Um, but I saw some of the things she did that I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd do it differently. So I have another playlist, which I've put it in the link. I better remember these links that I'm saying that I'm going to put in. What was the first one? <laughs> oh, I'll have to watch that one but one of the things is I want to put in is my tips and tricks so yeah I watched Megan's channel and I loved her ideas and how she did things but then I thought I could do that a slightly different this way different way maybe that would work and so yeah I share a lot of tips and tricks and you will find that somewhere in a drill with me I'm doing something that's different um, because I'm trialing something different and you know I like to share that um, with people because there's always big big learnings we all learn off of each other and share stuff um, so that's why I did it I thought well I can I can do that I'll give it a go and yeah it's a it's an interesting hobby is playing with YouTube <laughs> oh. but so about me um, I have a interesting job. 
I work full time. Oops, there's another one I missed. Um, and I do shift work. So I work day shift, I work night shift. Where did that go? Wrong spot. There it is there. Uh, I work shift work. My shifts are 12 and a half hours long. I, we, where I work, there is a fatigue policy, which is 14 hours. So 14 hours door to door. From when I leave home to when I get home has to be 14 hours. Otherwise, I wouldn't be allowed to do the job or I would have to move closer to where I work. So why don't I go to work in the morning? I'm probably gone from home for <laughs> about 13 hours and 15 minutes. See, I cut it close. I cut it close with, with that fatigue side of things. Ah, hmm. It works. <laughs> Sorry guys, you will notice muting. It's just me when I, if I cough or sneeze, because just you don't need to hear that. Uh, um, so yeah, I do shift work. Um, I will do five shifts at a shifts in a row, and it's a combination of days and nights. But then I'll get four or five days off in a row. Yeah, so it's you know it's good. It's a good roster. Um, that roster, however, is. Uh, I find in one fortnight I will work approximately 120 to 130 hours and then add on the travel time. So there's some fortnights where I am really, really, really tired. But um, I will still come home and diamond paint. The stressful job that I do, um, diamond painting actually helps me wind down and my that I will say my other half doesn't understand that. He doesn't get it. He, he he's one of these ones that's oh well you finish work, end of the day, relax, sit back on the couch, watch T V. Um, yeah, well, I watch TV while I diamond paint. I watch YouTube as well while I diamond paint. Um, but yeah, he, he, yeah, he doesn't get it. Um, I don't think, I don't think even trying to get him to sit down and do it, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even try that. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I work some, some long hours and still, um, my de-stress is, diamond painting and mucking around on YouTube. So what do I do? I am a train controller or a, well, I, it's not actually, we've just been recategorized in name wise. Well, so we were train controllers. They've now recategorized it, which is more appropriate actually to a rail controller. So my job is I manage I set the these the direction that train lines go that's part of what I do just a small part of what I do um, but it's also a big part where trains run off signals so they have green lights and red lights you know they, if there's a red light they can't go if it's a green light they can go um, it, that's it in its simplest form Okay, so I work for a you know, big, fairly big mining company. Uh, for those that can't tell by my accent, I am Australian. I am Western Australian. So I live on the west coast of Australia. Um, comparison in size wise. Good question. Um, Western Australia is a very, very big state. <clears throat> um, I work in the city. However, the with what what the the train line I operate is more than two thousand kilometres away, still within WA, within Western Australia. 
but yeah, more than 2,000 kilometres away. Mm, the trains on our network are roughly three kilometres long and they, not including the weight of the train or any of that, they carry dirt <laughs> or they carry dirt <laughs> um, and generally they carry about 42, it's always about approximately 42 tonnes at a time. So you know, you've got a train that's nearly three kilometres long carrying more than 40 tonne of dirt and then you've got all the weight of everything else. So yeah, I, that's my job, a rail controller. <clears throat> my job is to move trains or give the, you know, provide the direction of the trains. But my job is also to protect the guys. So the train drivers, my job is to protect and keep them safe. Uh, there is also, we have, you know, when you're fixing train lines, so the rail, you have rail gangs out there fixing tracks. Job is to protect them and keep them safe and pre prevent trains to go in their direction. Lots of rules and regulations in it. And when we say high stress with our, our job, the worst, the worst thing about our job, and thankfully, it, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't happen often. But the worst thing that happens, that can happen with us, is having to go to coroner's court and explain what you did and why you did and all of that. Which is basically going through, well, coroner's court is an establishment of um, why somebody died and how it happened and... Um, and then from those that, that was situation, it's a case of being able to prevent it from happening again. So that's worst case scenario. Um, you know, the we have other issues within the rail all around the world. Um, if anybody's seen the movie Unstoppable, you know, train derailments and where trains run away, <laughs> they call a runaway train. Um, there's a difference between a runaway and a rollaway train. A runaway is a train under steam. A rollaway is a train that's just travelling under its own momentum. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's a bit about my work. Um, yeah, high stress and diamond painting makes a big difference to me. Oops, there goes another notification. Okay. Audio. So we go that way and we look at the things that way, work-wise. Um, I, <laughs> I have a cat and a dog. Um, my cat, oh, probably, I think my cat's about 16 years old. I will see if I can find an image of my animals. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, hang on. How's this for an introduction? You get to see me and... Okay, there we go. So this is my cat. And I think I've got three pictures of him. Come on. So that's, that's my cat. And that is a big... He's a fair-sized cat. And that is a big dog's bed. He kicks the dog off his bed. And then my papa, my little boy, that's Bo or Botox. And he's a Sharpe with lots of wrinkles. Who's had two facelifts? Hence, when we, when we got him, we did a lot of research into the Sharpe breed and we were well and truly, whoops, the head. Oh, look, there's a diabetes picture. Um, when we got him, you know, we researched the breed. We saw him. We researched the breed before we, we got him. And we knew full well that he'd need facelifts, hence why he is called. We called him Botox. We call him Bo, but his name is actually Botox. Um, due to knowing that he was going to need facelifts. Uh, okay. So I have a cat and a dog. I have a partner. 
um, who drives me nuts at times, but don't they all? Um, he, <laughs> uh, there is some videos where you can hear him. I don't like to record when he's at home <laughs> because he forgets that I'm recording and I'll actually say to him, can you just keep it down? Um, I'm actually in, this is actually, I'm in a, my home is a big, massive open home, open plan. His man cave is at the very back of the house and my office here is um, towards the back of the house. But when he comes in and out, yeah, he makes a lot of noise. There is a couple of videos where there is some inappropriate noises that, After he does it, he laughs. You don't hear him laugh because I've gone reaching for the mute button. <laughs> but basically, uh, he has he, he he has farted and it's come off cross on camera. Oh, you, you've heard it. Um, although when I record with my headset, which is what I'm recording on right now, um, you don't tend to hear it. But I will admit there was one video I recorded and he was in his man cave and the sound of this is getting really personal but the sound of his fart <laughs> was actually captured on the recording and he was not anywhere near me um, yeah so yeah um, so I try not to record when he is at home purely because see he just doesn't know how to be quiet um yeah i have two sons um one son is married and the other one has a girlfriend um <clears throat> so yeah that's that side of it what else okay so now what do i do on my channel um do a few different things on my channel. I've got a beaded cross stitch, um, but I don't do that on camera. I that is actually a couch one. I go and sit on the couch and do that, so I don't record it. Um, I've only purchased the one to give it a go, um, but yeah, it is something that I do while I'm sitting on the couch. I obviously diamond paint. I so diamond paint. Sorry, excuse me. I work with resin, um, two-part epoxy resin and UV resin now. So yep, yeah, you will have seen that on my channel. I did do some paint by numbers. Um, yeah, not quite for me. Um, I've got a couple of paint by numbers that I've started but haven't finished. I'm just, I've done, completed two um, and I did enjoy it but not like I enjoy the other stuff. I think it's got something to do with not being able to colour within the lines. <laughs> um, so yeah, my two-part epoxy resin, um, I started working with that when I decided to find a way to seal diamond paintings. So, you know, I've purchased diamond paintings back in the early days um, that were cheaper versions, poor quality drills and, you know, popping drills and I needed to seal them. So I do use, when I'm working on those ones, I tend to use the Tombow Aqua Glue to seal um, to, to stop popping drills while I'm working on them. Then, um, you know, but I wasn't happy with that. So I tried resin, so two-part epoxy resin, had a few goes and, um, yeah, I like the effect. Does take a lot of the sparkle out, whoops. But then you counteract that with a little bit of a light sprinkling of glitter. <laughs> Um, from, so when I was researching, doing, working with two-part epoxy resin, I came across other stuff 
using resin. So like serve, I do, I've done some serving boards, which you've seen, some cheese boards. Um, you know, so that's where I started doing working with resin in that way and playing it with those. Okay, um, and then what from there I discovered UV resin. So what you'll see is I get a subscription box every month from Sophie and Toffee. And what I will say is if you actually go in and have a look at the my Sophie and Toffee um, videos, especially well the, the elves boxes. So the elves boxes are subscription boxes. If you go in and look at those, you will see um there's that famous word that um <clears throat> you will see below is a link which will give you a discount of three percent no this sorry discount of three dollars off your per, off your first subscription box um but i will say for each subscription box that people purchase using that link um once i get three that actually goes towards a the cost of a regular box so then I only pay the difference between a regular box and a premium box when I order. But so yeah, the Sophie and Toffee uh, UV resin, I have used a couple of other companies for resin. Um, I got UV resin from Amazon and found that I got headaches from that. <clears throat> um, there was also another company I got headaches from their resin. Um, yes, I'm a naughty girl. I don't use a, I don't wear a mask when I'm doing UV resin. Yeah. But from there, working with UV resin, I have started looking at doing cover minders. And if you can't tell, my drill tray is actually a cover minder. So uh, I have. I have just recently sent out um, some cover minders for people to try them to check out so we'll see how they go and how much they like them um, and I am looking at selling them but I just don't know how to go about it and basically <laughs> it's a hobby <laughs> yeah, so mm, I don't know but um, yeah the the um, cover minders that I make have the magnets built into them. Um, what have I got on my desk? I've got, oh yeah. Okay, so I've got, yeah, I love this cover minder. This one, uh, this one is, hang on, just trying to find, yeah. Sorry, I have magnets on my desk and I don't know where they've gone. I have magnets everywhere actually. Where do they go? Oh, that's just a thin one. So I have this one as a cover minder, this ice. And that is, you can do two things. You put trash drills in it or um, as a wax caddy. But yet again, yep, that's a cool cover minder. And you can use it as a wax caddy or trash drills. Um, so yeah, that's another little bit of a hobby that I do. Um, I have done some live resin work. Obviously, two-part epoxy resin work I can't do live because uh, the curing time on that, yeah, no, nah, not going to happen because two-part epoxy resin takes about 12 hours before you can really, before you can touch it, 6 to 12, depending on the which company you get purchase but then takes about 72 hours to cure to a hardness where yeah so UV re UV resin is what I will do on camera on on lives I did um, some fish trays and I think I need to do some more lives I need to schedule up and get some do another live for a resin pour but yeah um, that's the that's the flip side of what I do. 
my simplest form. Um, for I, with my channel, the way I have it set up, I, I love reading comments. If I've read, if you leave a comment and I've read it, there's a heart on it. Um, so you can tell that I have read it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't put a reply on every comment. Some comments just don't need a reply. When somebody says that it's a stunning picture, which, you know, all of the diamond shop ones are stunning. Um, I really appreciate the feedback on that. And uh, yeah, I think that just needs a heart to say, yeah, I've read that. Thank you for making, leaving that comment. Uh, if I get questions, I will try and do my best to help out um, and answer. Some questions I get and it's like, oh, that's worth a video. Oh, I've got there's an alarm going off. Hang on a sec. Uh, that was actually my second alarm going off. I have, on days off, I have two alarms. One that initially wakes me up and says, get out of bed. Um, however, <laughs> I do tend to turn that alarm off and go back to sleep. <laughs> so the second alarm is set for two hours later that, you know, it's like, you need to get out of bed now. Um, don't always need that second alarm, which is why I forgot it was still on. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit about, um, I suppose, my why I purchased from Die Moon Shop. Um, a little bit about me. Um, my house is quiet at the moment. The dog, Bo, you normally hear his footsteps on the wooden floors. Um, because he gets a bit excited at the moment, at times. But at the moment, he's asleep on the bed. So, which is why he's all quiet, which is a good thing. Okay, so I suppose, I think that's the whipping chat. This is about an hour. I'm going to continue to drill away and get more of this done. Um, but yeah, I put, that's what it was, was <laughs> this the obvious playlist, but I forgot that. So I will put the, obviously the playlist will be there towards, um, that shows everything in relation to, uh, the kimono and the collaboration and all the videos that I have made in relation to that plus the Christmas giving that Rowana and Reggie did last year with cerebral palsy and um, a video explaining about the ambassadors and the links to all those ambassadors so that you can go check them out and go get onto their channels and find the one that is there where their prize is, is drawn. Um, I will say I think the ratio of my subscriber, my, my subscriber count isn't that high. So the odds are probably pretty good. You've got better odds of winning on, on my channel for this picture. It's really funny. Um, whoops. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's it for the whip and chat. I, as I said, I'm. Mm, uh, that's one thing you will learn. I, I ramble. I do well. If you haven't picked that up, I ramble. But at the end of my videos, I always finish. I always struggle to finish them because I just want to keep talking. Because yeah, I like to talk. I am. Um, yeah. I, find, I struggle to go out and meet people, but I'm okay here because, yeah, I can I can talk here. I mean, my job is a lot of talking. Uh, but, yeah. All right, so that's it. I will, <laughs> I will stop rambling. The background music should be on now to say that I'm finishing up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and I will say to you guys, uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. What do you think? <clears throat> what do you... 
I won't say what do you want me to bring to the channel because um, this channel, Yeti, oh sorry, I'm rambling again. Um, this channel is showing you stuff that I enjoy doing um, and my discovery and my journey along the way. And so I will, you know, if somebody says that they'd like to see something on my channel, I will do what I can to incorporate in what I do. Um, but yeah, so guys, leave me a comment. What do you think? Do you want, do you like Diamond? Would you actually weigh up what it's like to purchase for them and f have the experience, at least have the experience once so you can understand um, the difference in, in purchasing from them as opposed to any other company for diamond paintings. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell so you're notified when I do upload videos with the way that I work and my shift work you will find that I will do a you will find that I'll get about three or four videos out day after each other and sometimes two on one day um, because of how I work you know I can't do videos every day and I don't schedule my videos I just as soon as I've done it as soon as I've completed the work for, for something I put my videos together edit it and put bits together do my opening, do my closing, and I upload it, and then I publish it. So, um, yeah, very random, very, very random. So you're never guaranteed of any specific thing on a Wednesday or any specific thing on a Monday or anything like that because, yeah, my life doesn't allow that. But you will see a range of stuff rambling again. <laughs> um so yeah guys, the if you're not subscribed you can't hit you can't get the bell, so you need to be subscribed to get that notification. Um, I do I have actually started trying to go live I suppose Tuesday mornings for me, which is in the US, it's Monday nights. Um, with the exception of I think there's one week where I can't, but that's because I'm on day shift. Okay, so I'll leave that there. I will hang on, I'll just lift this up a sec. I'm just gonna lift this up so you can see what I've completed and to show you those special drills. There's a really good sparkle on those. And yeah. So guys, yep, thank you for watching. And um, I'm going to continue on and I'll talk to you later. Bye.